everyone's definition of a wedding night could be that special night that you must never ever ever skip the bump which is the bed action you know even your guests your friends and where we shares your brothers train and all that everybody is thinking something else I cannot say otherwise you know including your parents they are not accepted you know even when sometimes it doesn't really happen the way we think but this is just how everyone defines wedding nights it's a simple definition of wedding night including you that is looking at me now <laughs> all right Okay, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Chief Red and you are most welcome. Thank you for stopping by and please do not forget that this is a collaboration video between me and uh, Irene Manuel. Yes, this is her channel. It will pop up there. So as you're leaving my channel, also visit her channel. I beg of you. She'll be doing a different version of this wedding night expectation. I'm going to leave the link to her channel in the description. Kindly visit her channel. She is an Igbo YouTuber based in Aba, Nigeria precisely. She has so many amazing contents that you would love to watch. All right, so let's get into this video. The expectations of people on the wedding night. I'll be talking to you about my own wedding night experience. What happened? I had two different weddings. I had the traditional marriage and the white wedding precisely. So I'll be sharing with you the experiences I got on the night of these two great days in my life. Okay. So like the title suggests, wedding night expectations, what people think about you, you know, what friends are expected of you on the wedding night. You know, people are looking up to you as uh, somebody who has gotten license to do whatever that you shouldn't have been doing as a single person, you know, or as people who are dating, especially in an African setting, you know, you don't have the license to do it. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you don't have the license to bed battle. That's bed action. Unless you are married either traditionally or you had the marriage contracted in the church wedding or in the court. These are the only time you can freely and officially bed battle. So even at that, despite that on the day of your wedding, is that day you've got that official license to do it, to act it, to bang it. You know, people still look at you in the awkward way i don't know some of your guests on your wedding day you know they even visualize what you the couple could have been doing or would be doing right after the reception they don't care all they believe that is definitely this is the night like i defined it wedding night is that powerful night you know the action packed night the anointing night the holies of holies night the night of bomba to bomba this is the way everybody defines their wedding night but unfortunately this might not be true in a way or their expectations from both of you as a couple might not happen that night because it's not every couple get to like have that bed battle on that particular night. Now let me tell you a story about what happened on my traditional marriage nights. In my culture, traditional marriage offers one the right to consummate the wife, you know, to have it done. Yes, hence you've paid the person's diary, you've done all the traditional rights. The person is legally, is sorry, the person is traditionally your wife. So you can as well, mm -mm, you know now. But then on my own, on my traditional marriage day, after the ceremony in my father's compound, I had to like follow my husband and his people to his own village. Though we are both from Imo states, yes. But he's from where I'm from all. So I followed him to his own village, to his own father's compound. And definitely I was meant to sleep there for days, you know. So on that particular night, whew, <laughs> it's a wedding night per se yes because we had our traditional wedding so what happened my husband and he saves the dad you know they had a meeting in their living room I was actually in our own room you know his own room and I was hearing their voices they were so they were arguing so loud you know speaking grammars because all of them are grammarians so I was hearing their voices you know talking so after which my husband came back to our room that was likely around 12 midnight he just jumped into the bed boom all of a sudden vim he was facing the other side of the wall before you knew it he dozed up so i didn't even ask him anything what was going on you know so all of a sudden he slept off and that was it so the next morning he woke up and he dropped some message with me to like extend to the dad okay 
that he will be leaving for Lagos. That was around 5 a.m. Fiam, he traveled back to Lagos. Then myself, I spent two nights in the village before I traveled. So practically nothing happened, despite that it was our traditional marriage day. But I know, but I knew that all of our guests on that day, a lot of them might be thinking that that night is the day Jima would enter. That's the night that he was going to give me a, a set of twin or something, you know. No, 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 that's not true. Okay, over to the white weddings day. Um, that was three months after our traditional marriage, you know. We had our wedding in Lagos, Nigeria, and friends and well wishers, everybody were present, you know. So we had our wedding. Uh, it was a busy day. You know the preparations you have to go through when you are preparing for wedding, the stress, the mental stress, the physical stress and all that. So it was really busy for us. But you know, when we finally retired at the hotel where we lodged, we retired around 8 to 9 o'clock, but then people were still there because it was, uh, the hotel was in nearby my brother's area, you know, so my chief bridesmaid was around, oh my God, she died. Chineye Chibuka, she died. She passed. She died in September 2018, while she was giving birth to a baby. May her soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. It's, it's quite a pity. I so much miss her a lot because she was my childhood friend. We had our secondary education together. We had a lot of time together. She had to travel all the way from Potako to attend my wedding in Lagos. So she was around that night. But then my brother later came around and drove her to their own house, you know. And our cook was a man, a professional cook, a pastor's son. He came around around 10, 10 p.m. to bring us food to eat that night in that hotel. And he came. He spent almost an hour just staying with us in our hotel room. Oh my goodness. Talking about how the day went and blah blah blah. Over an hour with us, where we were already exhausted, you know. In fact, I left them, I had to go and shower and come back again. He was still there. He watched us, we finished the food he brought, you know, before he finally left around 11 o'clock or past 11. You want to hear the gist, right? Anyway, did we do it or did we not do it? Oh, and you want to hear the main gist, right? Okay. Oh. Sorry. So, you know, as a church girl, you know, uh, Sister Mary now, I've always had in mind that wedding night is that special night that nobody should skip that, you know, that is the night God should, you know, that bless the couple's marriage and blah, blah, blah. Oh, ma. Okay, now ask me the question. Did I do it or did I not do it? Children, did you do it or did you not do it? <laughs> well, the response to that should be, we almost skipped that because my man had almost fallen asleep, you know. You know the rest of the story. Well, that's just by the way. But you know, after that night, the Sunday morning, we went for our Thanksgiving. And after the Thanksgiving, we waited on the 19th of July. Then we left for our honeymoon to Ghana on the 24th. You can imagine. Because after that Sunday dedication, is this dedication? After that Sunday Thanksgiving, People were still in our house because we left the hotel, we retired to our house where we were based in our God Palace or Kota. So friends who came all the way from our nature, like Chineye, my chief bridesmaid, she was still present and all of that. So you can't just be, you know, praying on their head. <laughs> so you can't just be praying and man's climbing on people's head. That's not right. You know, so until we left for Ghana for our honeymoon, that was on the 24th. Then <laughs> they call it honeymoon now you know <laughs> i didn't say anything so that was just that <laughs> so that was just that you know so one of the myths people talk about on the wedding night uh, action that you must always try to get it right on that night s yes, you would never ever get it rightly done okay? don't, don't ask me what that is you know and i know you know but i want to say that i want to debunk that mind that that's not true you know that's not true that you didn't get it right on your wedding night or whatever, it doesn't mean that you will never get it right again. You know, that night, a lot of expectations and anxieties might come in. I want to also tell you that what people think about couples on their wedding day is totally not true. Now look at this video. You see that couple, the way the man was just trying to swallow the woman, I can assure you that nothing might happen between those two on that particular night. It's very possible, 100% possible, that nothing may occur between those two. That man you see might be overwhelmed and he would doze up that night. So 
But looking at this video, everyone would be like, oh my goodness, this man is going to finish this woman and blah, blah, blah. That's not true. A lot of couples don't get to do that, if you ask me. But I would want you to visit uh, Irene's video and check her out. I am certain that she has the opposite version, story, about her wedding night experience. Her story is totally different. I don't know. So visit her channel and see what happened on her own white wedding night, okay? So thank you so much for watching. Yes. My name is Chief Friend. Remember to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and then keep coming for more content. Thank you.